during the pandemic or during the situation, um, we were very rightly poised, if I may say so, to actually offer solutions for the situation. So it's, you know, the it was not so much about ordering in or eating in, but the whole concept of what we've been trying to tell consumers over uh, such a long period of time, pr practically for two decades, about the need for a nutritious diet, about the need to supplement your, you know, regular meals with something that helps you build your immunity over a period of time, how to take care of the lifestyle damages that is happening to your health. So I, I don't think a consumer, I have ever found such an aware, conscious consumer for the brand over the last two decades. I mean, from us having to share information and having to explain terms and go into, you know, why this is important for you. We had actually consumers coming in seeking information, asking about is turmeric good? Is, when should we have Giloy? When is the Chavan Prash? What needs to be done? How do we do immunity? So we, I think out of all the brands, we probably Organic India was the one brand that was, um, you know, trending the wave. It was a part of the word cloud. Anything that we did was something that was already a conversation online. Now, therefore, the challenge, uh, if I may say, became how do you then add credible value to the consumer? How do you then add uh, uh, information or a knowledge uh, which that helps them rather than, so we became more in a, um, you know, if uh, into a giver mode than a taker mode. Content became more important than advertising. And uh, also, I think uh, discipline, dissemination of information, valid information became important. So herbal formulations, um, immunity teas, we also ended up launching almost five to six products, probably the maximum number of launches also we've ever had, including yeah. kits, you know, including immunity kits, including solutions for uh, being at home. Uh, coming to how the omni-channel strategy really helped, we were a primarily uh, uh, general trade, modern trade, or the, you know, an FMCG brand. Uh, but for us, the fact is that the consumer does not just buy our products. They are also buying into a philosophy and right. ethos that this brand is trying to communicate. It is, you know, there is a whole uh, concept of living in harmony with nature. There's a whole concept of no exploitation down the line. There's a whole concept of how we source. We tied with farmers two decades back who are now giving us all our tulsi is something that we buy, we grow, you know? So the brand actually um, had a general trade where we could sell, but this also gave us an opportunity to build it experience. And over the last, uh, three, four years from 2018, we'd also started setting up our own branded store, which is very rare for an FMCG brand to do. But for us, because it was not just the product, it was also the uh, experience of understanding agriculture, understanding where we come from, the farmers, the ethos, we set up stores. So we have more than 65 plus stores all over India, which are our own branded stores. These are wellness stores. And during the pandemic to increase the accessibility of the same products, because a lot of the other channels you know, were on uh, low gear, I think to continue giving support to the customer who still wanted the products. So it was not like a product that they could let go and wait for the lockdown to open. We were caught in a catch 22 situation where this was the time they needed the product. And that's where the entire online presence, ramping up our uh, online e-commerce setup, or, you know, ensuring the range was available a lot of those initiatives uh, started. So that's how actually our channels have opened up. So, uh, you know, like uh, Ritesh had said that it's the same product available across three channels, but for us, it's actually each channel is very unique in performing a completely different role for the consumer. Sure, so that, that's pretty interesting to see. And you know, how did video commerce sort of fit into your entire omni channel and, you know, education or creating awareness for the customer? As you said, content is more important than uh, advertising. So, uh, so we, we I think that's where the online really helped us in terms of using influencers, in terms of putting up doctor's messages, in terms of tying up with nutritionists. So, uh, you know, a lot of the information that the customer could get also tying up with a lot of the uh, panels that were anyway having a discussion where we kind of, you know, also elaborated. So the knowledge uh, that uh, our brand really has is a lot of the, uh, the documentation of, uh, you know, any claim that you make, anything that you say, if you say turmeric reduces inflammation, then how, what, why? which enzyme, which chemical, what, what in turmeric, the curcumin, how much percentage can actually work. 
so it was really the depth and the you know this is just an example that we started posting out there so we did a lot of uh, 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 how should i put it communication not just on the social media but we also went out and here's where a lot of the news channels or news platforms or where people were going out to seek information uh the google search word so any time there was an immunity search word or any time there was a turmeric search word we made sure that we were present there right yeah so seo has also been an important part of uh, the search strategy definitely, definitely. um smita we just um, got to know about your online store the experience store that you built for duroflex online of course you know when we are uh, when we are at home we tend to sleep a little more than we would be when we were going to offices and you know so in in one sense all of the uh, the panel that is here today belongs to a category all the products belong to such categories which are 